ra đi Vĩ bỏ kê ra đấy thôi không Đó Vĩ ra Thế thôi đó Mà lên bút xe này Đó cái mà tiền phê Xích suy đấy nè Đấy luôn luôn Vĩ ra đi Vĩ bỏ kê ra đấy thôi không Đó Vĩ ra Thế thôi đó Mà lên bút xe này Đó cái mà tiền phê <laughs> this is the part two of Trinidad Yo Killer Prezi Swanee Six Dan and the West Bank Studio. Now, you see that video on the watch? Is the West Bank man them gay Six Dan a Rolex? Remember, I said they gave him a hundred thousand dollars, but they also give him a Rolex. You understand? Now, a lot of people is saying that, oh, I, am, I don't know what I'm talking and this and that. Listen, let me say this. Prezi is no fucking angel. Prezi a big pum pum too. How many times am I going to say that? Look how much fuckery. Bomber cloud Prezi do. Eh? Prezi is no angel and I say that many, 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 many times him do no fuckery you understand? the man is a boss him no give a fuck about certain things but with that said I am dealing with this situation the thing with people you understand? they like to take this situation and mix it with other things. You understand? They don't like hear the facts. I am not bigging up Prezi. Because I've dissed Prezi many times. I show Prezi shot at them. Me show the man them we are dealing with Prezi. How many times? Look at my channel. How many times I talk about Prezi. And what he's doing. He's extorting. He's doing all sorts of bomb cloud fuckery. I said that. But yet still, when I came out with this video and talk about West Bank for the first time along with Swanee, people are saying that I don't know what I'm talking about. Uno go suck on a bomb buckle. Out of all the videos I've done on Trinidad and the gangster them, I've talked about Prezi many, many, many times. Okay? But, at the same time, I've also been doing my research. And, me, personally, like me say, I am a man. And when me say fuckery, me have a call it out. You understand? When West Bank came into the picture, they had fuel to the fire. Remember now, West Bank, Prezi, and a couple other studios linked together. But when Prezi didn't follow what they're going to do and follow their fucking program, they flipped. They gave Prezi $100,000. They gave Six Dan a fucking Rolex and a hundred grand. Let me show you guys again. Well, them pussy and them. Don't come back to me. Six real. <laughs> Good day, my wonderful friends. It's me again. The great, great, great. One more great countryman. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. 
and click on another video. Now, I talk about Prezi, Yo Killer from West Bank, Swanee, and Six Dan and West Bank Studio. A lot of people in the comments are saying that I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, they're saying I am this, I am that, but guess what? I'm speaking facts and I am not backing down. Like I told Prince Swanee, Pussy, me I come for your bumbo cloth. Now, like I say, I watch the interview on the fix. I've been talking about Prezi. I talk a little bit on Swanee. But then when I got the full picture, because something didn't look right to me. On the fix, the big man said that Prezi paid him and he went over, talked to Prezi and some guy from Chinatown, China where him want him, was keeping some show and Prezi asked him to put Swanee on. Obviously, Swanee was in Prezi camp. The guy put Swanee on the show, Swanee mash it up, do his thing. And that's when his career started. Now, Rebel Six get killed. And enough people blame Swanee. But when Rebel Six get killed, it opened up the door for Swanee. And Prezi still back him. Okay? Now, at that time, West Bank wasn't in the picture. But when West Bank came into the picture, they started corrupting the man them. They were working with Prezi. These are facts. And Prezi probably didn't go with their whatever. Because you know Prezi stay. You understand? And Prezi never go with them thing. And what they did, West Bank buy out the man them you see what i'm saying them buy out the man them them give six down a rolex and a hundred grand them give prezi a hundred grand them buy out swanee so it makes sense to me now when swanee start this the man them with him go america make him link come back at trinidad you understand? And now I deal with the man then because he has West Bank in his pocket. Yo, West Bank Studios, they have a lot of money. The fucking boy will own it. The feds pick him up. What other proof you guys need to know? He must sell drugs. He must do gun. And the feds wall him. He's from British Virgin Island. And the feds hold him he tried to fight it it didn't work and now he is in an american federal institution and he is not coming out of prison but west bank they got a lot of money and they're still going strong yo i'm not saying the move they make is not a, a, a business move it's a good business move them take swanee from Prezi and then put him out him get a name then him sign Brian Messiah Bro, big fat Yogi Beer boy blow up so West Bank right now the biggest artist them have in their camp is Brian or uh, Byron Messiah along with Prince Swanee you understand when they came into Trinidad, they poured fuel on the fire. Yes, the man them did a war from before. All sort of shit was going on. Yes, Prezi, a pussy. And let me say it one more time. Prezi, a pussy. Him is no angel. Him do all sort of blood clad fuckery. 
But one thing he did was help retarded Prince Swanee to move his career forward. And that's what I'm talking about. Now, let me ask you this. Name one artist in Trinidad that Swanee helped. Name anybody in Trinidad that Swanee helped. Name anybody in West Bank in terms of the, the poor and the needy that West Bank helped. All West Bank do, they came into Trinidad, them corrupt them and them even more. <clears throat> I'm sorry, and I'm not cutting that out. They saw a situation where the man them was kind of, you know, nervous, whatever. Them not too, them kind of shaky. And West Bank capitalized on that. West Bank is the premier name in the music business right now in Trinidad. Like I said, I am vlogging. I was vlogging about Prezi. But in some sort of way, and I must admit it, I was also naive. But I'm also smart. Because I was like, something is missing out of this picture. Like me say, Prezi a pussy. We know that. He do no fuckery. But one thing he did, he, stu he stood behind his people. They even try to take other artists from Prezi and some of the artists them didn't go. Now, I talked about Meds Boss and Plumpy Boss when they went to send kids and man tried to kill them. And Joshi was also there. But Joshi didn't go in the same car that Meds Boss and Plumpy Boss went in. And now it even made more sense because West Bank, they have seen kids on lock. That's their territory. They have been moving in the Caribbean and they went to other places. Jamaica is a little bit different. They can't just go into Jamaica and take over. Now, Joshi, if you guys ever see Joshi, He's wearing a West Bank chain, just like Squash, wearing a West Bank chain. So, there's certain artists they link in Jamaica and try to convert them. But Jamaica, like I said, is more mature. Uh, Jamaica have more things going on. Uh, Jamaica music uh, fraternity is not on what? the Trinidad thing is because like I said the reggae music in Trinidad is fairly young so when all of those people come into the channel and saying I don't know what I'm talking about the proof is in the pudding the man them at Trinidad was beefing from before Prezi a pussy Big big pussy, just like big pussy was uh, when he named six down with him big bumbo clad head. You understand? But what West Bank did, they came in, they saw the uh breakage, they said they see the unstableness, and they went for the play. They gave six dollar Rolex. They gave him a hundred fucking grand. They gave Prezi a hundred grand. They buy out Swanee. They buy out a whole bunch of other artists. You understand? And that's what it is. West Bank, una a pussy. And I'm coming for you guys. You understand? Now, I already signed up on your Instagram, West Bank, and I'm coming for you, Prince Swanee. 
I am coming for you. Six Dan, me I gonna talk about you. You understand? Because, like I said throughout my vlog, I've been talking about Prezi. I said everything bad about this man on the face of the fucking planet. I said him my extort is this. I show the shutter. Uh, I show everybody that Prezi is associated with in terms of crime and extortion and this and that. But when I did this video, the part one, you motherfuckers come on this and started bashing me and saying, oh, Prezi is paying me. I don't know that man from a can of paint. I get my information from other people. You have people who's in the West Bank who's not happy with it. You understand? So don't blame me. I am the messenger. You understand? Swanny a pussy. Six down a pussy. West Bank a pussy. Prezi a pussy. But guess what? You see West Bank and Swanny on a bigger pussy and it's only a pity that Six Dan had to fucking follow them what Six Dan should have done is join up with motherfucking Prezi who no come from Trinidad my youth make the thing strong you understand the man them divide uno and conquer on a bomber cloud and that's the fucking truth. West Bank, you know how true me attack. Swanny, you know how true me attack. You understand? Swanny, you fucking retarded. You have Bryron and all these other guys on you know. I've never seen a female around you guys. You guys are fucking faggots. Big fat Yogi Beer. You have your manager who act like a girl. You understand? Kale or Kyle with my name. Keisha. Una pussy. And I'm not changing my position. West Bank, me I come for you. Prince Wani, me I come for you. You understand? You this Prezi, you should have still appeared the man. Royalties. You should have given the man in respect. You's a stingy motherfucker. You ever done anything for the kids them in Trinidad, Prince Swanee? Hmm? They say bounty killer. Ah, uh, daughter is a baby mother. Who gives a fuck? Help the people them. You run, left your friends them, and you sell them all to fucking West Bank from the fucking British Virgin Island. And I don't give a fuck. I'm staying on this. You understand? My name is Countryman. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And click on another video. But as far as I'm concerned, West Bank, I signed up on your Instagram. I'm following you guys. I'm gonna talk about you guys because it's the fucking truth. You went to Trinidad and you pour fuel on the fire. I make the man the more even get worse. Six down your head big like a mandora coconut. Get some fucking sense in your bomber clad head. I'm out.